going on guys I've got something different for you today you may or may not like this video but I figured it'd be a good idea just because I wanted to change things up a little bit I've got top 10 trucker Jeep mods that I feel are the best ones to enhance either the appearance or the functionality of your vehicle without breaking your bank whatsoever so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and just dive straight into this list that I created now Bear in mind, this is my personal opinion because these are things that I have done to my truck with the exception of one of these things. And these are no, these are not in any particular order. They're just the, they're just the way I, they ran out of my head onto the paper. So number one, I've got LED headlights. I put LED headlights in this and I put LED headlights in my Jeep. And I love them. They're bright. They look way better than, you know, your regular incandescent bulbs. So, if they're aimed properly, you probably won't get people bitching about it, but that is my number one. Number two! Again, this is my opinion, but I have a Raptor Liner paint job. If you are new to the channel, this is my truck. It's with 2000 Silver Auto. It is Raptor Line. It's a bed liner paint job. Now, maybe you've got faded paint. Maybe you wrecked your vehicle and you have mixed match body panels. Whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. A Raptor liner paint job is a quick and easy fix. It cost me about like $350 to do this entire truck by myself, and I cannot complain about the results. Number three, people may or may not talk shit about this, which I really don't care. I got Plasti Dip. Now, I Plasti Dip the rims on my Jeep before I bought new wheels and tires. I Plasti Dip the wheels on this because I haven't bought new wheels or tires for it. So, I mean, who cares? You can Plasti Dip your grill, you can Plasti Dip your whole vehicle, you can Plasti Dip your rims, whatever the hell you want. It's your vehicle. But it's about five bucks a can, so it's cheap as hell. And it's very accessible. They got it at Lowe's, they got it at Home Depot, they got it at Walmart. You can get it easily, and it's cheap. Number five! I have a light bar on the list not on my truck i had one on my jeep and i absolutely loved it it was bright as hell the dick bag was supposed to give it back but he never did if you have shitty headlights shitty bulbs whatever it is shitty brights high beams light bar is for you it depends it all depends on your vehicle i can't give you exact prices for every single vehicle just because i can only go based off of what i've owned and what i bought but for my jeep i had a 98 zj it cost me about probably a hundred something dollars for the light bar and the brackets because only rough country made brackets for the Jeep. Number five, I've got rock lights. Don't care what anyone says. They can be white, they can be RGB. They're cheap as hell. They're, they're like 30 bucks on eBay, dude. And they look good. Like, it's your truck, dog. Like, who gives a fuck what people think? Oh, he's a Rifler truck because he's got rock life. He doesn't have a fucking Samoville. Who gives a shit? You're, if you're a teenager, just do, you do you, bro. Get rock lights. They look cool. Number six, I've got a body lift. I have one for this truck. I haven't installed it yet. Again, people may talk shit about this, they may not. Quite frankly, I don't really give a rat's fat ass if people talk shit about a body lift. Again, this is all affordable stuff for normal people that work full time and may not be making $50 an hour because their fucking dad owns a company. So, if you're a normal 19 year old like myself and you're still trying to figure your shit out, a body lift is for you. Depending on your vehicle, they're between 150 to 300 bucks. Mine was 300. Number seven, no one can really argue with this because I see SEMA builds with this shit in their truck. LED colored dash lights, dude, like, they look cool as hell. Mine are blue. Like, who the fuck doesn't want a blue dash? Like, who the hell wants the off-white that looks like garbage? Not me, I wanted blue, dog. that's why I got blue. They were about 10 bucks on eBay, so that is extremely affordable. Number eight, wheel spacers. They'll give you that stance, that stance, given they are a little bit harder on your ball joints and your tie rods, but no one's really paying attention to that. 
but wheel spacers they're cheap for my Jeep they're about 50 bucks but again it all depends on your vehicle I don't have any on this truck not yet at least but yeah those are cheap as well Number nine, we're getting towards the end. It's a muffler delete. It's a muffler delete. If you're a teenager, you've probably already cut the muffler off your truck, but I figure, hey, I may as well throw it on the list because maybe some of you have it. It's free as long as you have a Sawzall or your friend has a Sawzall or something. Just get that bitch out and wow, cut the muffler off, start your V8 up and just wow, 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 wow. Number 10. This one's a little different. It doesn't apply to me personally because I have a four wheel drive. This is for you two wheel drive guys out there. A, a knuckle lift or a spindle lift. They run you about three or 400 bucks, at least for the silver, two wheel drive Silverados. It's a, for a three or four inch lift, that is not bad at all. Um, that's probably why all the trucks in the Carolinas are squatted. I'm not dissing you guys at all, but they're extremely affordable. So, that is why that is on the list. You get four inches of lift for like three or four hundred bucks, dude. You can't complain. Like, I'm fucking sell this thing and get a two wheel drive just so I can drive my truck like a dog shit. Okay, so there you guys have it. I will try to include screenshots of previous purchases or stuff I find on the internet or pictures of my Jeep or pictures of this truck. Whatever the case may be, I'm gonna try and find stuff that retains to this list. So, with all that being said, that those are my top 10 mods, in my opinion, I feel are the best to put due to your truck or Jeep so they don't break your bank. I thank you guys sincerely for watching and I hope you continue to watch my videos and watch my stupid ass just along my journey. And I hope you guys take care and have a wonderful day.